we got two new characters within two days? Like, okay, wow, I was waiting for the beaver spotlight, but this is great too. Cool walk. Uh, I guess I want to focus on Gerald first, just because recency bias, and this is the new jangly keys, <laughs> very shiny in front of me. <laughs> um, so Gerald. I guess this beat's getting stuck downtown just as a strawberry. <laughs> That's like all I know about Gerald is that he dressed up like a strawberry. Come on over. Using the, I think the music that was in Raphael's spotlight. Ooh, that's fast. <laughs> okay, the skateboard. Had to get out of my way. He's got, like, a few moves where he goes in, but then he has that, like, fast baseball, too. Every year, the ghost bride rises, looking for her victims. The end. Huh. That's gotta be from an episode. Um, I mean, yeah, I've, rather than they just made it up, sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what is being thrown right here? He throws a few things. Oh, it's cards! Okay, so he has this and that up air <laughs> Donatello, all, And then following up with this... I oh, I see! Wow, that's cool. He's spinning the basketball around him. That's where the multi-hits are coming from. And then slam dunk. And then it seems like he goes into a helpless state. So I guess that's the recovery, the up special. That is an interesting up special. Oh, that's so good. Because you do... Dribble the ball before you rise and dunk it down. Oh, that's neat. So this is some sort of... How does this work? He's running in, but then there are a few frames of him charging this. This is a charge attack. I guess with the sliding down... So many moves that go in. I guess this is a down charge attack? But there was this clip too, speaking of just moves with going in. Seemingly a dash attack, I think, into what looks like another dash attack, but maybe is a down tilt, a down light, a light down, <laughs> you know, grounded down light attack. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely a down tilt because <laughs> he's going into his crouch first before he does his down tilt, and his crouch is really cute <laughs> where he's hanging out. And then he does his down tilt animation. Okay, so he's got a slide for his down tilt. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Swinging with the bat twice. Going in again with the skateboard. <laughs> got a lot of fun tricks. And charging up this, I, 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 I would guess I would guess that this is a, a neutral strong, neutral charge. Uh. And hits, but is even still going over here. So that really makes me think the more you, but we also see the bike here only go a little bit because uncharged, just, just let it go. Cancel, eh, no charge to it at all. Seems to be slow. The tires literally seem wobbly. He seems nervous. <laughs> so I guess if you don't charge it at all, you really don't go very far or very fast. And the more you charge it, the stronger and farther it goes. And that is a good knockback angle. Um, well, this really gets me thinking, how fast and far can you zoom across the stage with the skateboard or the bike? The bike I want to charge and zoom and then get a hit and cancel into maybe charging the baseball? Is the baseball chargeable? There is a little effect there. So maybe this is a chargeable move or not. I don't know. I, hmm, well, I don't know, it's too early to say, but I think it'd be cool to, <laughs> oof, good reach, to do a bike cancel, and then as they're flying away, you line up your shot and, uh, snipe them. <laughs> he throws you up, uh, and slaps you with his hair. Okay. Now, what is that? I'm sure this is a reference to, this is a... Oh, this is a drawing of a tree, it looks like. Maybe there was an episode where they, like, 
fought for the environment or something? Huh. M-H or H-W? I don't know enough about Hey Arnold. It seems like it's some initials, but I don't know whose or what, so I don't know. Just neat though. Neat detail. Spinning around with the skateboard and then spinning around by break dancing. What is this break dancing though? If the slide is the down tilt, and if this radio is a potential... <laughs> this is a great move, spinning with the skateboard. And this is also a great move, but what is it? If the radio... Is the radio not a down charge? Or maybe Gerald has multiple down... He... What is... How do you do... What? Skateboard zooming in. Spinning and the bike. But just a weak little bike hit. The bike... The bike is hyping me up. The skateboard and the bike going in with those, but for sure the bike, like, uh, like I, I love charging and then, ah, uh, you're gonna, it's from a distance. You're gonna have to call your shot pretty well. You're gonna have to get a good read. Um, but like punishing someone's end leg and just like mm, getting them, like zooming across the stage and getting them. Oh, that's gotta be good. He's going in, but he's throwing a lot of stuff too. He's throwing cards. He's throwing, uh, the baseball in that one clip. <laughs> and there was another one. It looked like a light back air, maybe. Um, right here. That thing you do at the start of football games. I don't think you call it a serve. I know in tennis it's called a serve. I'm not, I, I'm not the least sporty person, but I'm also not the most sporty person, all right? But in the football, when you start it, you gotta, you just put the football behind you. He's, that's what he's doing. So he's going in, he's shooting from afar. I think he's some kind of all-arounder. Seems like he's ready for any situation. And the bike is really hype. I really want to see the bike. I really want to play around with that. Oh, and of course his super, where he tells a ghost story. That's cute. <laughs> Danny. Danny Phantom. Danny's doing it again. Danny. <laughs> Danny. I'm really hyped for the bike, but I'm also really hyped for the skateboard, personally. <laughs> mm. Looks like you can do a couple things out of the skateboard. Looks like you can do this, and maybe if you hit another button, then that's how you go in uh, and get the spin. Maybe, maybe if you ride it and then you hit, like, up attack and then this is if you go in and press like down attack or maybe it's based on if you press a or b or whatever hmm he <laughs> looks embarrassed oh i didn't charge the bike very much it's okay it's you got her she's flying off the screen good job you did it well this is another great first impression i really like gerald's personality i have a feeling a lot of us on quick play are going to be um <laughs> doing this crouch to each other. As for these silly beavers, well, here's my reaction and stuff. Yo, we got a new character today. It's the Angry Beavers, which are characters that we discussed a little bit in the Potential Future Content Discussion Part 2. Was wondering, as a duo, I mean, they could be separate in the costumes of each other, but as a duo, what do you want to, like, tag between them? Do they fight each other for moves, kind of like Tom and Jerry or Ren and Stimpy in this game? Um, or do you want to do like ice climbers or something or something completely new? Like, how do you, how do you want this duo to work? There's so many different ways. And beyond that, are they going to build a dam? Are they going to, well, who knows? I don't know. And already their beautiful stage here. I was really hoping it would be the dam. And of course it would be that dam. Oh, okay, cool. I want to, I want to see. Um, that should be good. Time to get all boss groovy and righteous, Ooh. Norm. You've got your beaver survival oh. kit, right? Are they separate? Okay. Yellow. Oh, so, okay. It is like how I discussed in my, uh... Oh, cute. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, wait, hold on. Give me a second, because I'm like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm halfway through this minute long thing that I was like so maybe they can have their own thing but be costumes of each other but then they call them in for an assist but then they also tag out it's so funny to think that 
I was wondering, like, are they going to do this or this or this? And then they said, let's do all of it. <laughs> but okay, let me actually... This is so pretty. I love this stage. This is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh. Cute. Aw. Time to fight like men. The music's fantastic. It sounds a lot Don't like they're. The it sounds very inspired from their theme song too. Quickly, Go <laughs> Cute. Yes! Were there competitive? I just saw the top platform, but I mean, this seems like a stage that could have competitive variants, and I hope it does because the stage is beautiful. This is a unique layout, of course. Yes. Looks like the water. Okay, I see. So this unique layout has a feature to it where the water leaks in. That's the, uh, that's that bowling ball from when he got gum stuck to the bowling ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this dive kick. Yes, I had that included in my video too, the dive kick, of course. Oh my gosh, this was one of my most wanted stages. It is beautiful. Look at the, mm, mm. hold on, where do I, this is a good view. Oh my goodness, look at this, these red and yellow trees on the sides and the leaves, the leaves are falling on the stage. Oh my goodness, this stage is beautiful. Uh, wow, I, I, uh, definitely one of my favorite stages we've seen. <laughs> Pops them up, so strong. Lifting Reptar, doing that to Reptar, wow, strong. And then, uh, slapping with the tail. And then slapping with the tail again, sending Reptar sort of diagonally down. So I don't know if that's a semi-spiking forward air, or maybe even a slappy light down air. And this tornado attack, that looks pretty interesting. And oh, calling, okay, this is, oh boy, okay, how do I? <laughs> Great work. This is amazing. Okay. So like we've discussed how they could work as a duo. Maybe they're ice climbers. Maybe they're just like Tom and Jerry, Banjo-Kazooie or Ren and Stimpy or Pyramithra, whatever. Maybe they tag out. But the fact that they tag out and call each other as assists, <laughs> I mean, that's something in a lot of tag team fighters. But as someone that like loves Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 very much, I'm personally like, wow, getting a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 vibes from this. I've also been seeing comparisons of these two to Pyra and Mithra, which is only accurate in the sense that they do tag out, I, which I think is what people mean. I don't think people mean that they have the other big part of Pyra and Mithra, which is that those two have basically the same moveset, but Pyra is stronger and Mithra is faster. These two seem to have pretty much entirely different move sets too. So it's, I guess if you want to think of it more like Pokemon Trainer or whatever, um, then maybe that's a more apt comparison. That, okay, so this is an upcharge that Norb does a few times in this reveal trailer. That starts with a boxing glove punch, goes into his tail, and then ends with a golf club. Uh, which, yeah. Dag does not do. Oh, and this back air with the log is pretty cool. I like a spin in the middle too. That's nice. Yeah, we don't see Norb dive kick or do this tornado attack or do the bowling ball with the gum on it. Those are all Dag exclusive moves. Oh, and Dag getting all muscular. I think that's Dag's up charge attack, whereas Norb has the three hit attack. Uh, <laughs> this is a very cute attack, flexing on the opponents and everything. Ooh, and I love this splash effect. This is very cute and a cool effect as you switch from one to the other. I really like it. And this is one of Dag's assists where he bursts forward chomping. I really wonder, I mean, I'm looking forward to those spotlights, but I wonder if you hit uh, one of the beavers. Oh, ooh, I'm getting sidetracked because I'm seeing a Norb flying over here. I, I'm just wondering if you hit an assist while they're doing an assist move, if they get hit, if they go away. Like, I assume they're probably not invincible. And then another assist from <laughs> Dag where he's throwing logs up into the sky and they're falling down forward. That, um, 
we really got to see how that works over a ledge, because that seems like a really good assist to edge guard with. That seems really good, so that'll probably pop people up. Like, that's not going to spike people, right? But yes, yeah, so fun to, <laughs> I don't know, consider multiple ways of how the beavers could work and kind of choose multiple. Yes, they tag between each other and they call each other for assists. That's so fun. Well, I feel like silly that I didn't think of that now. I guess I've never seen that. Like that's, that's okay. That's, we can do that. We can have like four Angry Beavers players calling assists on each other. That's not gonna, I don't know, trouble the Nintendo Switch. Is that, my game's not gonna crash, right? Like it can handle it. Oh yeah. I also really like this frame of Reptar. I was getting some, Reptar pictures for a graphic, but yeah, when he has the big chompy teeth. Arr. Ooh, and nice to see Zim again. Ooh, Zim looks good. Ooh, crawling toward you with his mechanical spider legs. Ooh, and his art style looks good. I like what they're doing with his eyes and everything. Oh, he looks really nice. Really looking forward to his spotlight too. Ooh, and we see a Zim roll here, it looks like. Ooh! Need to see his full wingspan. And very cute to have Zim in here because Zim and Dag share a voice actor, Richard Horvitz. Pretty neat, little fun fact. Really want to see this assist over the ledge. <laughs> um, looking pretty cute. Ah, that's, this is such a cool way to do them. Ah, this is such an amazing character concept. I have so many questions. If you call an assist, can someone hit the assist? Okay, if you can hit the assist, can you combo the assist? Can you knock the assist out? If you knock the assist out, are, is one beaver just left on their own? Which is not impossible. Like, that just means they can't tag or call assist, but they can still fight. They can still do stuff. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm very interested. Maybe they're just fully invincible and none of that <laughs> matters or anything. But isn't that kind of wacky if they're fully invincible? I mean, they don't last forever and maybe there's like a time limit on how much you can use them. What's the limit? I'm sure you can't tag while an assist is out. That wouldn't really make much sense. Unless, is there any way to like end your assist early? No, because then that wouldn't be fair. There should be some end lag to be punishable, but like it doesn't affect the main beaver you're playing as startup or end lag wise. So Huh, I mean, you're gonna have to be able to hit the assist. If you hit the assist, maybe they just get hit a little bit and they go, yowch, and then they leave and you can't call them for a bit. There's so many different ways. <laughs> I wanna know how it works. I'm sure we'll get a spotlight soon enough. I'm very curious. Right, so Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 put up a Steam page where you can wishlist the game and everything. And there's a couple of new bits of information. An easy one to miss is that this announcement trailer is almost exactly the same. But then for some reason, they did include in the middle of all these quick shots. Yeah, it went by so quickly, but we get to see this pretty chum bucket. And this is definitely early footage because Ren is not here for some reason. And this log has a strange texture, but whatever, this background is pretty. We see the kitchen, we see the counter, we see the menu, and we see this door open with light fading in, very pretty. The Steam page also has peeks at other cool stuff like buying perks in campaign mode or a boss fight against King Jellyfish or fighting against one of those minion guys from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And a jellyfish is here, so maybe that's also an enemy? I don't know, but personally, I feel like chatting about this when we know a bit more. But if you haven't already, and if you're curious, then go check it out. But yeah, some big news this week too. Two new fighters, a beautiful new stage, oh my goodness, uh, and peeks at story stuff. I, This game's got a lot going on. <laughs> I am, oh boy, I, I gotta see the beavers in tournament, I gotta use Gerald's bike move, uh, fun stuff. What do y'all think? I guess I'll chat with y'all in the comments, please feel free, and I'll see you around. See you next time. Bye-bye.